Good evening to all of you. Mr. Sanjay Joshi, my co-panelist, His Excellency Mr. Alexander Ziegler, Mr. Rod Witten, distinguished delegates, I am extremely happy to be with you this evening and I must thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to share some of my thoughts and particularly Dr. Raji, I think he would leave me. And I was just wanting you all to talk and uh, being such an important conference, I thought uh, already His Excellency Mr. Alexander highlighted the safety of the our own space assets. When we talk about uh, <coughs> space policy and space assets, we need to worry about how do we really ensure them healthy and see that they are preserved so that you know the, the kind of services that it provides to the entire nation, we have to ensure that that continuity is maintained and it is sustained. <coughs> Uh, before I move into that, I think being in <laughs> India, the what ISRO and India has done, as you can see here, so far we have had about 73 missions launch vehicles, and we have launched our own satellites, about 103, and of course we also have ventured into several advanced technology missions, and of course the strength of our own programs in India is how well it is utilized for the common mankind in terms of space applications. I think you can see that what is given in boxes down below, a whole range of them is there. But more importantly, I think in terms of cooperation, we have launched more than 300 foreign satellites from 32 countries. Now, <clears throat> Okay, it takes time. You see, as far as the space assets are concerned today, you can see that although we have launched 104 satellites, as on today we have about 48 satellites active, about 18 communications and about 20 earth observations, navigation and space science. The idea is that we need to preserve this kind of assets that we have put in our own region and what is that it is doing as our own assets? You can see that today, as I mentioned earlier, the reach of all the spacecraft, almost every area it has touched, you can see this from planning to the telemedicine to search and rescue, education, communication, geology, ocean. You know, it's told in the light of wind that if we decide to switch off these our own space assets even for one hour at any given point of time. Believe me that each one of the 1.3 billion in the Indian population will have some effect either directly or indirectly. That is the kind of reach it has reached today. Why I am mentioning that is when it is so well integrated with the national development and touching the, the kind of reach it has reached it's important that we preserve these our own assets space assets in a, a pr proper manner the question is that you know what is this is what is termed as the space situational awareness basically if you want to preserve them what is needed is we must have a comprehensive knowledge of the entire our own assets and what are the possible dangers they are there what is the kind of environment these spacecraft that we have provided for and how do we ensure the safety you know this is something that we need to worry about it it's not that simple you need to track them appropriately there are spacecraft there are rocket bodies there are fragments many things i think already ambassador mentioned about that and what are the kind of dangers that they are there you must have a clear understanding of how to really look at them. And we have the problems of the near earth objects, the external bodies, and of course the weather. 
this space weather we must have very clear understanding you know sometimes we get into serious problem and of course we cannot go without looking at the our own adversaries and there are explosions it can happen the collisions can happen so all these things can disrupt the services that are so vital for any country today if we really look at it i think all over the globe space has put several several assets into the sky for their own utilization and how do we really ensure uninterrupted service so in fact the space situation awareness has become very very important today if you really look at the the space cooperation what was mentioned i think is one of the themes for this conference this is very vital i think the space situation awareness can be done essentially by having a very good cooperation between various countries then only we can handle it of course there are what are the issues not all are covered but then the debris i think already being talked that is something we need to worry the weather we need to worry it could be energy from the sun it could be extreme temperatures the solar atmosphere solar wind i think celestial objects if there are threat from the asteroids comets many things so the, the question is how do we really protect that's where the solutions are several you need to worry about the sensors you need to worry about the data fusion putting them together analytical methods and how do we really develop the tools this is what we need to worry see this is i think i got it from isa, ISA space debris office as late as february 11 you can see that i think the statistics is given we don't need to worry what is mind boggling is see the last line 128 million objects from 1 mm to 1 cm mind you they are all orbiting at 7.8 km per second or somewhere around that and a small piece can damage your spacecraft the services that it provides can go wrong so how do we really handle them and when we have put these kinds of thing you see the total mass of space objects i don't know how many of you are really aware 8400 tons today that is the kind of mass that you have put in this space you know that is why it has become all pervasive i can tell you so it is question is that how do we really handle them look at that the debris that are growing it's exponential what we need that bottom bottom red is the one really what we require in terms of payload beat communication beat remote sensing or navigation so on so forth but in order to really utilize that payload the kind of debris that we are creating over a period for whatever reason it's exponential and you look at the last one decade it's really frightening and that's where we need to worry and we need to cooperate ourselves how to handle this kind of thing look at the geosynchronous orbit i think arthur b clark told way back if at all there is a fight it's because of the space it's basically the slot available for the communication spacecraft if you really look at it the kind of all over the globe in terms of longitude and you can see the dominance in the american region europe region russia and this region how it has grown in fact if i really put it as a part of one circle there is absolutely no space even to put any communication satellite this is the kind of uh, crowding that has happened and i mentioned to you space whether it's something we need to have a very good understanding so question is how do we really get that understanding so this for successful monitoring and prediction there are methods i think one must i will not get into the technical areas but then we need to position the measurements at appropriate point what is mentioned there you know what is called lagrange point in fact we are planning one aditya one which will be positioned very within a very short time which is going to measure the 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 various effects of weather particularly with respect to sun and this is where you can see that space environment center which is coming under noaa in fact that is the official us source which really provides time to time the alerts warnings and forecasts so we should have a very clear understanding of that see the weather how it affects one may wonder that 
it's basically the various kinds of charges that are developed it could be surface and it could be electrostatic discharge and of course some of the events mentioned the people who are knowledgeable in technical terms they will understand which can affect any of the devices and which can affect your memory where you provide software ultimately the end result is that you are going to lose your spacecraft which means the services it provides to the human kind will be lost <clears throat> of course how do we protect you know this is the question that we are looking for answer you need to have different different kinds of radars that is a backbone the optical telescope there are plenty which are available and of course that is prone to several other disturbances being on earth in terms of cloud in terms of light pollution etc so that's where you have to go for a space based optical telescope one should go for that and again you can see that us military that operates the largest collection of ground based sensors and this is what we call space surveillance network we need to create it's not just enough that you put your spacecraft into orbit how do we surveil carry out the surveillance and be able to protect it that's also important just like the national defense is important for protection of the nation i think we need to worry about how do we protect our own assets in space and of course this is a very good sensors available in all major space faring nations and in order to understand how to protect we must understand what are the dangers that are available see the 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 various threats one can do the jamming of the communication you can worry about destroying the various elements that are involved in the spacecraft there are possibilities you can destroy the ground systems although you have the space based system if ground systems are not properly maintained and protected you will get into serious problem this is where we need to worry about the the international cooperation of course cyber attack which has come of late can really spoil the system that is available uh, in space too actually so in order to really protect what is really required is we must have a very good that's why that term has come space situation aware ssa i think many of you may be aware so you need to do a lots of things which is listed there including the space traffic management and how do we really bring the redundancy how do we sort of bring so that we don't get into any difficulty these are the various things one must worry and of course we in india we are really pressed upon these things many things we have done you know for every launch we worry about how do we avoid the debris sometimes we delay by a second two we have developed our own software then what we term as the proximity analysis we do then of course you need to do the modeling you must have the multiple object tracking radar to really look at that and of course international agency for debris control iadc what is called in fact a lot of debate goes on in un corpus to discuss on this particular program and then we should look into that and what is the action plan you know i think many of you may know that norad site provides all orbital elements is called tles that is that is available then you have the radars you have the telescopes then of course various data sources that are available you need to network all of them together and then see how to take it forward and as i mentioned earlier that we are really planning one of the spacecraft l1 in the lagrangian point as the aditya and of course uh, we need to share the data and uh, have the cooperation to understand each other and capacity building in terms of various elements that are required we need to worry about that and of course we need to carry out so you know this is one of the important things that we are working presently is called network for space object tracking and analysis in other words uh, as an acronym it's called as netra basically you need to sort of develop the various elements that are required observation facilities and also the control center and ground system so that you are able to have a network so you i mentioned earlier that how do we really do the surveillance i think that's what one should work for <clears throat> and of course 
there are space government i think ambassador mentioned about that but then it's a quite a tough job we have the un copos we have the itu as you can see that there are number of uh, guidelines generated number of them have been accepted but then some of them are yet to be you know this is all almost 100 percent people have to agree so it takes considerable time in terms of uh, coming to a common understanding but it's very vital i think these are the forums we must press for it and then we should go forward and uh, <clears throat> as far as the disarmament of is one of the very important areas but then how do we really prevent it i think the prevention is better than the cure in this way we must have good understanding in spite of having all cooperation and collaboration still we get into problem and of course uh, we need to generate international code of conduct for outer space activities sir this is what one must work for and you can see in both you know in many places the consensus because the decision is made only on consensus it's yet to be reached and similarly on the the international code of conduct i think you can see that the progress lot more has to be done to see that it happens but it's very vital for all participating countries and <clears throat> finally what is being done i think whatever i mentioned so far you are able to sort of follow that very meticulously it is almost like a guideline and this is sort of as country way we have so much wasps where it has touched the lives of every human being in the country we need to worry about that these are the various uh, operations that we are trying to do and then see that proper monitoring is done proper surveillance is done proper tools and methodologies are developed and then keep an eye on protecting the our own assets i think it's extremely important and thank you for your kind attention i hope that uh, you all realize that protecting our own assets is so very important and i think that should get the maximum attention building launching putting satellite all are okay fine but then to keep it on a sustained basis apart from having you know we all have mastered how to make them work 10 years 12 years 15 years it's going on but for some extraneous reason it may get into problem you may lose all that vital assets so before i conclude i once again thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to share some of my thoughts which are vital for this conference thank you very much